Ayan na guys, naglalabasan na naman mga flagship ngayon. And hawak ko dito sa aking kamay, no, is the OnePlus 9 5G. And of course, syempre, sported with the Snapdragon 888, I expect something good from this smartphone. So tara, unbox muna natin. So hi guys, ako pala si Richmond and welcome back to my channel. And nakita na natin ang unboxing ng OnePlus 9 5G. And grabe, ang gaan itong phone na to. Out of the box, masasabi ko sa'yo, it's very, very light. Masasabi ko sa'yo, sarap hawakan itong phone na ito. No? Yung grip, very, very nice, very, very smooth. Uh, yung camera niya no, is a triple camera setup. And ang ganda ng collaboration na with Hasselblad. Hasselblad. And this is a company na halos similar ang trabaho niya with Carzays na nakipag-collaborate dati with Nokia. And of course, si Laika nakipag-collaborate kay Huawei. And I believe na itong collaboration would be very, very successful for OnePlus. So how ako right now dito sa aking kamay is a 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, UFS 3.1 na Snapdragon 888 powered na 5G capable uh, phone dito sa OnePlus 9 5G. And what I like about dito sa OnePlus no, is very, very smooth ang kanyang UI. Oxygen OS 11 and running Android 11 dito sa OnePlus 9 5G. And it's really nice. Kita natin, no, ang kada, kada swipe, very, very smooth. And did you know guys, it's already 120Hz na screen refresh rate, no, which makes it more smoother sa aking mata. Now, sinilip ko sa Antutu 8.5, no, nakakuha siya ng 601,000 points. Which is yun ang norm, no? This is Antutu 8.5 for mga Snapdragon 888 series. Which is okay. Uh, Masasabi natin, performance should be very, very good. Nakakuha siya ng 5,665 points, no? Sa Slingshot Extreme. So, I expect maganda ang gaming performance dito sa phone na ito. So, I've been playing with this phone for roughly one week na rin, no? So, nag-enjoy ako, no? So, first out of the box, ang gaan niya. Yan ang masasabi ko sa inyo. Hindi ako mahilig sa Hindi ako super duper fan sa mga heavy phones. Mga malalaki yung phones. Mabibigat. And what I like about this is a OnePlus company is that they keep it simple. Sabi nga nila, KISS. K-I-S-S. -S. Keep it simple. Stupid. 
So yun talaga hinahanga ko dito sa OnePlus company. They just really keep it simple para hindi nakakalito sa consumers. So definitely hats off sa OnePlus. So unlike yung mga ibang phones so which has a 6.7 inch screen, this one has a 6.55 inch na fluid AMOLED. Then together sa kanya is a 120 hertz of screen refresh rate. And on top of that, may HDR10 capability siya and 1,100 nits ang kanya maximum brightness. Which is okay, no? Under bright sunlight, tinayin naman natin siya, no? Very, very nice. Bright pa rin. Nababasok pa rin mga pictures, mga text. Uh, yun ang one of the main tests na ginagawa ko, no? Under direct sunlight. So, this one did survive yung aking under the sunlight test. Very, very nice ang kanyang display. So, tinayin naman natin manood ng movie dito, no? Sa phone na ito. We tried watching some YouTube videos and it's really nice. I can say yung punch hole niya hindi nakakairita, no? There are some punch hole na pag tinignan mo, ang laki-laki ng butas, no? So, parang laki ng percentage ng screen na nawawala siya. Pero dito sa kanya, they keep it small and simple. So, hindi malaki nawawala sa inyong screen. Now, yung viewing angle nito is definitely nice. Ang kanyang fluid AMOLED display is good. And I can say, yung screen brightness niya, no? Sometimes nag-a-adjust siya, eh. And of course, syempre naka-auto brightness naman ako. So, there are times sa parang siguro sarili siya nagka-calibrate sa brightness. So, if you don't like yung sarili siya nag-a-adjust masyado, I suggest I turn off niya yung auto screen brightness, no? When you're watching some videos or movies. Now, together with this, meron siyang stereo speakers, no? So, yung stereo speakers niya is not yung super loud. Yung tama lang. Uh, balance naman kanyang sound There are other flagship phones in the market That can give you better and more powerful sounds uh, Compared to this One, OnePlus 9 no? Pero ito, for sabihin ko sa inyo It's good, balance And wala namang problema no? uh, When playing games, when watching movies Okay, panalo Now, speaking about games Nag-try tayo maglaro ng Call of Duty Nilagay natin lahat sa max settings And of course, you're expecting some Snapdragon 888 Lahat ng max settings kaya natin unlock dito sa Call of Duty. So, sabi ko sa inyo, the gameplay is really nice. I did enjoy this game. And what I like about this one is hindi masyadong uminit sa likod ng OnePlus 9 5G. Which is one of the main thing na kailangan kong sabihin, no? Kasi there are other phones na malaki, malakas nga yung processor. Pero ang init-init ng likod, no? Pero surprisingly, for this one, uh, nakapaglaro tayo 30 minutes. And hindi yung sobrang init. Tama lang init niya. May mga iba na mas mainit pa dito. Yun ang masasabi ko sa inyo. And the gameplay is nice, fluid, and frame drops is almost close to zero. And nag-enjoy ako, no? lalo na pa nag rat uh, ma Marinig mo yung mga gunshot dito sa loudspeaker. It's really, really loud. So makita mo mga dating collaboration no? between Nokia and Carzase, Huawei and Leica. Nakita nyo, ang ganda na mga output ng camera shot. So I expect this one to be... Something of the same level, no? So, meron siya 48MP na main camera. Then, of course, calibrated, may Hasselblad. Then, together with it, meron siya 50MP na ultra-wide lens. Take note, guys, it's 50MP na ultra-wide lens. 2MP na monochrome lens. Then, sa harap, meron siya 16MP na front shooter. So, ngayon, tinay natin to get some shots outdoors. And what I can say is that well, performer nga siya, no? It's nice. Pero, uh, there are times na medyo mas whitish siya. And yung masasabi ko sa inyo, yung color balance siya siguro, yung uh, mas uh, overexposed siya. There are times na medyo overexposed siya. Pero, under bright lighting, masasabi ko sa inyo, there are some of it na nakapagkuha ko ng really, really nice shot, no? Uh, except that some of the selfie shot that I took here is medyo may pagkasablay kasi siguro under direct sunlight medyo hindi ganun kaganda ang ano no color reproduction no but other than that masasabi ko sa inyo indoors is definitely good and taking some food shots is definitely good and taking some nature shots is definitely nice so i highly suggest ang ganda maganda tong camera nito ni OnePlus 9 so, tinay niyo natin kumuha ng mga videos here from the rear and front camera, no? Masasabi ko sa inyo, guys, it's nice. Pero there are times na makita mo parang nafi-flicker siya. Uh, probably siguro nag adjust pa yung camera sa kanyang, ano, no? Sa surrounding, sa lighting. So, may mafi-feel ka, may parang nafi-flicker na itim. Lalo lang sa front camera, medyo mas malala kung di ang kanyang flickering. Lalo lang pa nag-a-adjust ako, nag-rotate ako, no? Lalo na yung nakatuto ka sa sunlight. 
nag-adjust siya, no? So, makita mo may mga kunting flickering. Pero if steady naman siya, wala naman napapansing flickers, no? Dito sa camera ni OnePlus 9. The one very noticeable dito sa kanyang camera is very, very small ang kanyang camera bump, which is one of the things that I love here sa OnePlus 9 na camera bump, no? Very, very thin. Then for security naman, maganda naman kanyang fingerprint scanner, in-screen fingerprint scanner, very, very responsive. And of course, this one has 5G, like I told you. Pero one of the first thing na napansin ko, no, nung kinapita ko to ng SIM card, lumabas yung 5G. Pero after 3 seconds, nawala. So, I tried asking, no, uh, our friends over from Digital Walker to know, bakit nga ba nawala yung 5G, no? So, they told me that uh, on the next update, Lilitaw na 5G. So guys, stay tuned for your updates nila, no? And guys, this is how you do updates uh, inside this OnePlus 9 5G. So what you have to do is very, very simple. All, put na lang sa settings, drop all the way down to system, pasok kayo sa system. Then sa pin second to the last na icon, no? Uh, na entry is the system updates. Depe pindi rin yung check for updates. So, kung meron na siyang updates, pwede na nang i-update, uh, ipupush ng OTA, no, ang update para matrigger ang 5G, no. So, uh, yun ang announcement sa akin, no, from Digital Walker. So, guys, stay tuned for the update dito sa OnePlus 9 5G ninyo, no, para makakuha kayo ng 5G signal, no. So, nevertheless, kahit wala naman 5G dito sa phone ko right now, as of the moment, Tinay natin, no, running speed test uh, on GOMO SIM and I was able to get 130 Mbps on a download speed which is, well, not bad. Kung 5G to, siguro I expect something faster around siguro 200 plus to 300. So this phone is packed with the 4,500 mAh of battery supporting up to 65 watts of uh, warp charge though which is very fast. So dinay natin siya down to 17% no. Then kinarga natin using the default cable and default charger pabalik na 100. It took us just 48 minutes and nilagay natin siya sa battery stress test no. Nakakuha siya ng 10 hours and 4 minutes. For me medyo may kaliitan na kanyang uh, battery. So uh, the battery endurance test did not last this long. And take note guys, nilagay ko siya sa 120 Hz nung tinakbo ko to no. So if naka 60 Hz to I expect it to be more. Siguro 16 hours? 15 hours? I guess. Just a rough estimate. So, how I call right now dito ay color is Astral Black. So, meron din siya other two colors, Winter Mist and Arctic Sky. So, anong color ang nagustuhan ninyo? So, guys, itong phone na ito, the OnePlus 9 5G can now be bought at Digital Walker anywhere uh Across the nation, no? so ang price tag nito no, for the 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gig of storage is 38,990. So I feel the price is right naman para sa flagship nito. Very, very nice, very, very performing phone. And what I really like about this one is magaan siya and very, very powerful. So what's your thoughts? Share it on the comment section below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like. Subscribe, of course. Click that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos here sa akin channel. Guys, don't forget na ongoing pa rin atin road to 100,000 subscribers. Massive giveaway. I'll post the link up there and don't forget to check it out. And I'll see you on my next video. Goodbye.